Hello, my friends, and welcome to this new Buddha Talk. Like every week, we try to publish here in our official YouTube channel, Buddha TV Online, and also in our official Facebook page, Buddha TV Online, on Facebook. Always it's going to be direct and very politically incorrect. Uh, talking about educational, cultural, or critical aspects inside the Buddha or, or the martial arts. This week we want to talk about um, some denominations that usually we hear and some people don't know the difference between the three of them. I'm talking about Jujutsu, Aiki no Jutsu, and Aiki Jujutsu. Of course, inside of what it is the Dai Toryu Aiki Jujutsu. I repeat, inside the Daito Ryu Aiki Jujutsu. The Jujutsu, Aiki no Jutsu, and Aiki Jujutsu. First, I would like to uh, talk about the historical aspects. Let's come back in time a little bit. Supposedly, uh, the origins of the Daito Ryu Aiki Jujutsu begins with Shinra Saburo Minamoto no Yoshimitsu, like about 900 years ago. Shinra Saburo Minamoto no Yoshimitsu uh, belonged to the lineage of the Seiwa Genji line. The Seiwa Genji is supposed to be descendants of the famous Emperor Seiwa in Japan. According to the legend, Yoshimitsu loved to take the, the bodies of the enemies uh, who died in battle and with the doctors of the family, of the palace, they open the bodies and study their articulatory system and anatomic system of the dead bodies. Also, he was a famous practitioner of the lost art of Tegoi. Tegoi is an ancient Japanese martial art, supposed to be the ancestor of the modern sumo and was practiced also by the Shintoist priest at the time. Eventually, um, the Minamoto family of Shinra Saburo Minamoto and Yoshimitsu moved to the area known at that time as Kai. Kai Today is the Yamanashi Prefecture. His, uh, his grandson and grand-grandson adopt uh, the last name of Takeda. They changed the last name of Minamoto and begin to use, they began to use the last name of Takeda. That is the moment where the Takeda line born and continue to these days, the famous Takeda line. I say before uh, the origin of the Daito Ryu or the Aiki arts begins with supposedly begins with Shinra Saburo Minamoto no Yoshimitsu. I say supposedly because when you see the old uh, scrolls of ma or makimonos before Shinra Saburo Minamoto no Yoshimitsu, you can see a lot of names, but the kanjis are written in a very ancient uh, way. So many. Even the expert cannot uh, translate it. So we know there are more people, but the only point they could start translating from was from Shinra Saburo Minamoto no Yoshimitsu to that point. Um, but they, they cannot go back because they, they don't know how to translate the names. So when they is uh, beginning to live in Kai, today Yamanashi Prefecture. One of the descendants of the Takeda line, the famous General Takeda Shingen, opposed the unification of Japan. The unification of Japan was uh, an idea created by Oda Nobunaga and Tokugawa Ieyasu. They beginning a big, they start a big fire, big battle around Japan, and Takeda Shingen opposed them and fight with them in a big battle. Takeda lost this battle, but the winners, usually in that time when you lose a battle, your clan will be destroyed completely. 
but Oda Nobunaga and Tokugawa Ieyasu, because they have a great respect for Takeda Shingen, allowed that clan to continue working. Years later, uh, many years later, a descendant of Takeda Shingen, Takeda Kaisuyori, moved the family, what is today Aizu Wakamatsu, the Fukushima prefecture in another area in Japan. In that moment, something really funny happens because the techniques of the Takeda family unify with the techniques inside the Aizu clan and they create something called Ushikyushi, the great style of the East. That is translation for Ushikyushi, the great style of the East. And they begin to share knowledge and create something wonderful. Years later, another descendant, Takeda Sokaku, after the Meiji Restoration and when the Meiji Emperor attacks the Aizu clan, when the Aizu clan oppose the change of the political system in Japan, Japan changed from feudalism to capitalism, and the Aizu clan opposed that, the Aizu clan is almost destroyed by the Emperor uh, army, and Takeda Sokaku, a descendant, of that clan, uh, beginning to teach, he began to teach the art outside the clan, outside of the Aizu clan and the Takeda family. And he changed the name of Oshiki Uchi to Dai Toryu. Something funny here, the translation of Dai Toryu is the same of Oshiki Uchi. Dai Toryu is the great style of the Eats. Oshiki Uchi is the same, the great style of the East. So he's looking for a different way to say the same name. But something funny is like, when Shinra Saburo Minamoto no Yoshimizu was a child, the house or the mansion when he lived was called Daitokan, the great mansion of the East. The Daitokan was in the, I think, what is today the Shiga prefecture in ancient times were called, uh, was called Omi, today Shiga Prefecture. So he used the name, the historical name, and changed it and used it to rename uh, Oshiki Uchi. That's why Sokaku Takeda is uh, known as the curator of the Daitoryu, or curator of the Oshiki Uchi. In Japanese it's called Shuko no so, the curator of the Oshiki Yoshi. So Haku Takeda was already Uchidechi of the great uh, Kenjutsu uh, master Sakakibara Kenkishi of the style Kashima Shinden Jigishin Kageryu. He was already a martial expert and he started to learn the secrets of the Daito Ryu with Saigo Otanoko. And years later he also teach Morihu Washiba, who creates modern Aikido. So, inside what is uh, Daito Ryu, I said before the three terms Jujutsu, Aikido Jujutsu, and Aiki Jujutsu. Jujutsu inside Daito Ryu are the more hard techniques, the techniques that are going to destroy completely the opponent. Every technique in Daito Ryu is painful, every technique is wonderful. Every technique is little, but specifically the Jujutsu techniques are more focused in harm the opponent. So the Aikido Jutsu, the second part, there will be uh, more soft techniques, more Aiki related, more Kokyu and Ki related. In every technique you breathe, you use Kokyu, you use Ki, and you use techniques, but specifically in the Aikido Jutsu, there are more preference in the Aiki motions and the breathing and the key use. So the third term will be the Aiki Jujutsu. Aiki Jujutsu is a blend between Jujutsu and Aikido Jutsu. It's the soft and hard part united in the same techniques. So you have the Jujutsu, the Aiki no Jutsu and the Aiki Jujutsu. Uh, many people say inside the Hidden Bokuroku Shoden, which is the first catalog of techniques, 
118 techniques and the Henkas variations is more focused in the Jujutsu power. The second uh, level, if you can say that, Aikido Jutsu have 53 techniques and so on on the different techniques. We have the uh, Goshin Jonote and the different other levels. So, but everything is divided specifically in Jujutsu, Aikido Jutsu and Aikido Jutsu. The hard part, the soft part, and the blending between the soft and the hard. I want to clarify here, soft part is not like soft. It's I'm referring to the use of uh, breathing and the energy. Everything in Daito Ryu is painful. Everything is wonderful. It's a great martial art. It's a great Koryu. And my respect to all the traditional Daito Ryu practitioners. And well, I hope you like this video. Please leave your comment uh, on the description here. Uh, please subscribe to this channel in case you are not subscribed yet. Invite your friends to subscribe. Don't forget to share the social network of our sponsor, Tangorama. And I see you next week. Blessing to you all. Gosh.